What's up, ninjas? It's Whack a Granny Wednesday, but we're not whacking any granny yards today, so we're still gonna call it, of course, that. Because we are whacking something today, aren't we, Sass? This is exactly why I didn't become a proctologist, these masks. We got all the boards out, as you can see, and got all the nails out, as many as we could. Some of them just broke off and we'd nailed them down in there, but other than that, we're gonna get ready to spray everything with bleach water. <laughs> Basically it's half bleach, half water. And the bleach sassy is supposed to kill everything and anything, including if there is any mold as well, right? Oh yes. Okay, but it will not take the paint. Right, and it doesn't work on politicians. You can't clean them up with it. <laughs> it does not work on politicians, can't clean them. <laughs> Good one. I told him since he's already spraying it, instead of just spraying this area, spray also any of this green stuff. All right, Ninja, so quick update. We got the wood out here. Sassy's already, it's kind of windy, put some boards down just to kind of give you an idea of what's next. He, we haven't nailed anything down, but we treated it with water and bleach. We waited for it to dry a little bit, and then now he put the kills. And we're just going to give it a few minutes. Right, Sass? Mm -hmm. No, no rush. And so while we're waiting for the kills to dry, what are we doing? Well, that's it. We're going to screw up some boards down. No, while we're waiting, what are we doing? <coughs> oil change. Oil change. That's right. So we're going to do the oil change on the 61 and the 36. It's needed. It's actually been needing it, but we don't use it as much as we would normally in the season. So we just, I've just kind of put it aside, but perfect timing to kill some time. Hey, get it? Kill, kill some time <laughs> and uh, do the oil changes while we wait for this. But as soon as we do the oil changes, we're going to go ahead and come back here cut the proper sizes nail it in done definitely turned out to be a lot easier than i originally anticipated and thought once sassy started to break this and scare the crap out of me saying it's a black mod yeah yeah you might want to check your uh uh ac vents too and all kinds of Better things safe than sorry nah, that's true safety first. that's right safety first we went ahead and changed the 61 so i didn't get a chance to record but i will record when we do the 36. the reason i didn't get a chance to go or record why sassy i got frustrated didn't mm -hmm. i this is the kind of tools that i'm working with right show them this yes show oh. them this what it what brand first of all well, it's a stanley it's a stanley do the other one okay and then I had to go and hunt. Obviously this is the bigger one. Mm -hmm. I had to go hunt for a smaller one, but with the extension to a bigger size. And it's only in one direction, right? The other direction is fine. Oh yeah. See? So Stanley tools, yeah, no good. Mm -mm -mm. Stanley that, made in America? That'll blow a comment section up for yeah. you, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if Stanley's made in America. I bet you a ninja on here that's watching this will know if this is actually Made in America. Hmm. You know, that's a lot of your problem though, right there. You try to get one of them bigger nuts off of this thing, it's too big. Sometimes you need a smaller one with an extension, that way the mechanism isn't as large. <laughs> I heard you giggle, but I'm telling you that's the truth. <laughs> that's why I didn't get a chance to record, because I had to go run back and forth to the garage to find the right, the right, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> The difference between a Kawasaki engine and the Vanguard, the Vanguard is a little bit trickier to do the oil change. Now, same concept, don't get me wrong. You still got your oil filter right there, but the bolt is right there and it's kind of pulled in and hidden and you really just got to squeeze on through here. It's not the most comfortable position, I got to tell you that. Mm -hmm. Even when you take the sack off, it's still, it's awkward. Oh, this is the one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So we can't just beat it down in there? No, no. Are you sure? Yeah, you'll damage your wood beating on it like that. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Sassy wants me to go spend some more money on a bar that I can put this in by my foot. Uh -uh. You don't see it. We gotta go get that metal bar. He wasn't playing. 
and neither is Becky. Let's go. So what are you suggesting, Sass? Well, I'm saying give it the evening time, let it settle, because we got it packed in here super tight. Super tight. Super tight. So overnight, it'll actually move on its own just a little bit, make it easy. It may just pop right in place tomorrow. Huh, because I do see right here, it's very smooth, went in. So it's just like towards the center there. We start to have a problem right here. Of course, I'm not going to say where we got this lumber at, but we bought it at a questionable establishment. <laughs> okay. But now that, you know, you, nobody could ever get them perfectly straight. No. And we're trying to start in the middle when they started over here and worked their way out so they had all the play they needed. Okay, so basically what you're saying is leave it sitting overnight mm -hmm. and that wood will expand and contract or whatever? Yes, yes. you leave your wood overnight, it will change. <laughs> Okay, so enough of this. We're going to clean up, get it done, and we'll just finish this up tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll fit right in. If not, then we'll use the little bar. We're going to finish the 36. Sassy's never done an oil change on a mower. I've never done an oil change. Ever. Mm -mm. Okay, Sass, so the first thing you need to do, sir, is pop that yellow cap right there. That's right. That's right. Hey, that is right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Try not to drip. It's, yeah. <laughs> Stick it all the way down in there. Valentine's Day. It, gets, it infects people. Make sure it's all the way down in there. Less talking, Sass. More doing. Is it all the way down in there? Yeah, far to go. <laughs> Are you sure? That's not far enough. Are you sure, Sass? But yeah, I'm at the bottom. <laughs> Before we start, I do want to say... The Vanguards are the SAW what, 30? 30 mm -hmm. weight, 30. SAE. But, where's the other oil? Um, just wanted to make sure to let you ninjas know, I called the dealer and I wanted to just double check in case they just accidentally gave me the wrong one. But as of like beginning of this year, or maybe end of last year, I'm not sure, but Kawasaki is calling for all their engines to have a 20 weight by 50, so 20 W50. So if you have a Kawasaki engine, from what the dealer told me, that's what you need to be running. Now, if you have the Vanguard engine, the 37 horse, you should be running, it's a Kohler brand, but that has nothing to do with it, but you should be running the SA30 weight. All right, so that's pretty simple. Start pumping. Pump it! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Now, Sass, this is one of those suction things. You don't have to keep pumping the whole time. Keep pumping some more, but you don't have to do it the whole time. You, what you're doing is you're building up that pressure mm -hmm. and you can stop by now and you you can actually hear it. Well, it makes a gurgle sound like it does when you eat a Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> when, of course, you see that it's slowing down, you do a few more pumps. Great thing about this tool is you don't have to loosen this bolt down here you don't have to make a mess. You still make a little bit of a mess because you got to got to get the uh, oil filter. But look at that, and look how fast and powerful. Yep, I'm gonna borrow this next time I go to Crystal. Rub the a little bit of oil from a, the old one, and then rub it around the new seal. There you go. Okay, you don't need to like, my goodness, Sass, full details. Now remember, you don't want it super tight. You want it just snug. Nice snug. Oh, a little stronger than that, Sass. I said snug. Well, you know. <laughs> what, what happened? Well, I, I whipped the hose and it... it, it... <laughs> All right, Sass, grab the new oil, put it in there, and we're done. What and about this hose? That hose just stays out for now, and uh, this has done its job. I love this little vacuum tool. Sassy uh, was very impressed with it. He's like, why is this not a thing for cars? Everybody be grabbing at them oil changes all the time. Like, it's a big deal. Try not to spill, Sass, okay? Easy. And just baby it in there. Nature Minute with Sassy! You know, I'm glad you brought this okay. up. Okay. In Alaska, uh -huh. it's illegal to whisper in someone's ear while they're moose hunting. It's illegal in Alaska to whisper in someone's ear while what? While they're moose hunting. 
while they're moose hunting. Why would it be illegal to whisper in their ear? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. It's frowned upon in the men's room at the Walmart too. You don't want them to walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Not illegal. But now somebody from Alaska can probably tell you why, but it's definitely illegal. So it's illegal in Alaska to whisper while they're moose hunting. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Why? It's a good question. It's actually illegal. Mm -hmm. So they could turn you in if someone was to whisper. Sure. Learn something every day. I had no idea. I had no idea, Sass. And remember, frowned upon in the men's room, too. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> you yeah. just creep up on somebody and be like, hey, you want to go? Thank you, Sass. Mm -hmm. Learn something every day. See you tomorrow. It's Thunder Pumper Thursday. No, that's not a thing. It's just Thirsty Thursday tomorrow. I was about to say, yeah. Thirsty Thursday. Bye. All right, ninjas, I was actually going to conclude the video as you guys saw when I finished everything with Sassy, but uh, something just came in the mail and this was worth adding to today's video. Now, this guy caught me completely off guard. Now, I knew something was coming because he was like, I got something in the mail for you, Nick. But I was like, what? What, do you, what you got? He's like, you know, don't give me. Now, this guy, man, this guy's a real friend and I mentioned him to you guys before. I actually wore one of his shirts. You guys have seen it. But, uh, you ever meet people in your life where it's just like, dude, the brotherhood, the connection, the loyalty, the respect that you have for one another and the friendship that you develop is phenomenal. He's the real deal, man. Anyway, the guy is a huge fan of Made in the US and A. Everything made in America. And he knows I stand big behind that as much as I can. We can't get everything that's made in the USA, but as much as we can, right? We definitely are both on the same page on that aspect of it to really support anything made here as much as possible. So let's go and take, take a look at this. So it just came in pretty much while I was finishing the day with Sassy towards the end. No, he freaking didn't. Oh, dude. Come on. Really, Shane? Guys, freaking SK. Shane, bro, you did not have to do that. Oh my gosh, man. I like the SK stuff. I've actually complimented him on the SK stuff because he's been really purchasing a lot of these uh, uh, wrenches and uh, screwdrivers himself and um, ratchets and things of that nature and I was just like man that is some nice stuff and I went on their website and I looked at it and that stuff is expensive but you know what sometimes it's worth it because you're not only getting good quality you're also supporting made right here and he knows I'm all about that and I know he's all about that so Shane <clears throat> my ninja I appreciate it Loyalty is key. Dude, that means so much to me. But I just got a notification that you uploaded some kind of what, ninja sidekick apparently video because you got some goodies in the mail and you went, you went out there and ow, you started acting like a ninja. So I'm going to go look at that at the DLT lawn care video right now. But guys, I wanted to share that with you. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, ninjas. We'll see you tomorrow.